being pregnant is the greatest wish for many and they are happy when they finally give birth to a healthy child. But what if the fact of being pregnant is a great misfortune? What is it like in Germany when pregnancy is not your fulfillment but rather a major problem? Let's take a look at the current situation and see what the possibilities and laws are in Germany. I would like to point out that the unpleasant ends of pregnancy are also considered here. It may be that some people have already had experience of this, so I would like to point this out in advance. The romantic idea that most people have is probably that two people find each other fall in love, then get engaged and married, and then when you're all set, the woman gets pregnant, gives birth to one or two, maybe even three healthy children, and everyone is happy. Well, even in the Bible there's a passage in which Moses is abandoned as a baby in a wicker basket, and in some fairy tales there are also reports of children being abandoned, such as in The Devil with the Three Golden Hairs or Hansel and Gretel. In the text it always ends well for the children. As already mentioned in this video about primary and secondary school, all children have sex education lessons in primary school and know where the children come from. In secondary school the focus is then more on contraceptive methods or sexually transmitted diseases and how to protect yourself from them. It shouldn't actually happen that you get pregnant unintentionally. But even the pill, a condom or an IUD, intrauterine device, are never 100% safe. I don't want to go into the reasons why pregnancy could be problematic at this point in time from the point that it could be a danger to the life of the mother or the unborn child to the point that the mother or the couple is currently in training or unemployed, perhaps the couple has even just separated. There are dozens if not hundreds of reasons why it could be a problem to bring up a child in a few months time. But what to do then? Firstly, we need to make a few quick biological and legal distinctions. The fertile days are roughly in the middle of a woman's cycle. If a follicle comes into contact with sperm here, the egg is likely to be fertilized. Around six days later, the egg nests in the uterus and the woman is pregnant. Pregnancy lasts around nine months or 38 weeks from fertilization of the egg, but in medical circles it is calculated from the last menstruation, which ended two weeks earlier and is therefore given at around 40 weeks. This number of weeks is legally relevant, as we will see later. If the egg dies before birth or the pregnancy ends naturally and no living baby is born, this is referred to as a miscarriage. A distinction is made here as to whether the fetus weighed less than 500 gram or whether it had a higher weight or whether the child was actually delivered but had no signs of life. This is referred to as a stillbirth. The legal background to the latter is that in the case of a stillbirth, a birth certificate with a death certificate is issued a name may be given and, if desired, a funeral can be organized. In addition, the mother has a right to aftercare by a midwife and the right to paid maternity leave. Miscarriages occur in around 50 to 20 percent of cases and probably around a third of all women have already had a miscarriage. The probability of a stillbirth after the 28th week of pregnancy is very low in Germany at around 0.24%. These children are sometimes referred to as star children and there are various organizations that help families affected by such situations. 
Now we assume that we have a woman who for some reason fears that she may have become pregnant. It is possible to obtain the morning after pill from pharmacies without a prescription. Depending on the active ingredient, this must be taken within three to five days after sexual intercourse. Girls aged 14 and over can obtain these over-the-counter emergency contraceptives without the consent of a parent or guardian. Patients under the age of 22 can sometimes even obtain this medication free of charge through health insurance cover. Women should seek advice from pharmacists or gynecologists about the side effects. These drugs prevent the fertilized egg from implanting. From this point of view, no pregnancy has taken place. If this period has elapsed and the woman only finds out about the pregnancy, for example, when her period stops or a subsequent pregnancy test is carried out, what happens then? There are a number of different options that the woman should seek advice about. As mentioned at the beginning, it is also possible that the pregnancy is wanted but then becomes life-threatening for the mother due to an ectopic pregnancy. In this case, it may be possible to terminate the pregnancy deliberately and prematurely, like to have an abortion. We then have a conflict for the legislator. On the one hand, there is a woman's right to self-determination, and on the other, a potential child. If the mother's life is in danger because of the pregnancy, or the child is unlikely to be born alive, most people will be in favor of an abortion. But what about so many other problems that can rise? The legislator has therefore regulated the following. Abortion is illegal in Germany. However, it would not be prosecuted if certain conditions are met. First, the abortion may only be performed by a doctor. Second, the abortion may only be carried out up to the 12th week of pregnancy after fertilization or the 14th week after the last menstrual period. Third, the mother has received counseling from an appropriate institution at least three days before the abortion and can prove this to the doctor. There are various counseling organizations such as Pro Familia, from the two Christian churches or from various organizations such as Arbeiterwohlfahrt, AWO, the German Red Cross, DAK or similar. Here, for example, Pro Familia is regarded as rather liberal and Caritas or the Sozialdienst Katholischer Frauen, SKF, are not allowed to issue counseling certificates in accordance with Section 218a, the certificate for the doctor. One option would therefore be to terminate the pregnancy. This video describes the various ways in which an abortion can be performed. The most common and gentle is a medical abortion in which the placenta and embryo are rejected. The video was made two years ago when paragraph 219a was still in force. At that time there was a ban of advertising abortions. This meant that a doctor was not even allowed to provide neutral information on the homepage about how an abortion is performed if the doctor performs abortion himself. While most people think that advertising is usually associated with discounts or the intention to encourage future customers to buy and to show how great the product is, this was even applied to simple information. One doctor then deliberately posted information about it on her website, knowing that she would be charged and went through the courts. Until 2019, doctors and hospitals were not even allowed to state that they performed abortions at all. Last year, paragraph 219a was then deleted by a narrow majority and now doctors are allowed to provide high quality information on their own website about a possible abortion if they carry one out themselves. 
This makes it easier for women in this difficult situation to find the right information and a suitable center for a possible abortion. The possibility of having a safe, medically supervised abortion is very important for the protection of the mother. The risk for the mother is much lower than the risk of giving birth. If this legal option does not exist and the expectant mother are forced into illegality, the risk to the mother's life is much higher. And even when it was still completely forbidden to have an abortion, there were already angel makers, which often led to health consequences or even the death of the mother. In pregnancy conflict counseling, all options open to the pregnant woman are addressed and the aim is to enable the pregnancy to continue. This goal is also defined by law. This also addresses the support available after birth from child benefit, maternity protection, protection against dismissal, part-time training, support from the youth welfare office, women's refugees and similar. The father of the child, whether married or not, whether the pregnancy was intentional or an accident, must pay child support, which may initially be advanced by the Youth Welfare Office until the person is able to pay. What happens if you do not want to terminate the pregnancy but are unable to raise a child? There is a well-known option of giving the child up for adoption after birth. You move on with the pregnancy, give birth to a child or children and declare to a notary that you wish to give the children up for adoption. This can be done at the earliest eight weeks after birth. It may be that for some women even eight weeks seems too long and they don't really want others to know about it. In this case, there is the option of confidential birth. The pregnant woman is treated under a pseudonym during the pregnancy until the birth. Her personal details are kept secret for 16 years. Here again, there is a conflict between the child's right to know where it comes from, from the age of 16, and the mother's right to privacy. If the mother does nothing after the age of 16, the child receives the information of the biological mother. However, if the mother objects, her data will remain under lock and key. There are therefore many possibilities to receive free help from the beginning to the end of the pregnancy. If, for some reason, the problem only arises at the very end of the pregnancy or directly after the birth and the mother does not know what to do, there is another very old option in addition to the aid organization, the youth welfare office and the anonymous hotlines that has been around since the 12th century, the baby hatch. Even back then the flaps were available in orphanages or monasteries to give parents the opportunity to place their children anonymously in safe hands. They also exist in most hospitals in Germany. It is an externally accessible flap on a heated bed, where specialized staff are alerted when the flap is closed. There is often the option of placing an object with a child or writing a password on a piece of paper in case the mother changes her mind after a while and wants contact to her child. In fact, the baby hedge is sometimes also the subject of discussion as a child cannot make contact with his biological parents and the current situation shows that children can be abandoned despite the baby hedge, which should actually be prevented. What was the current situation? In Bielefeld, someone abandoned a newborn baby that was found by chance near a school. Initially, the girl's life was in danger, but after a week in hospital, she is now doing well. However, the police are now looking for the mother, as the child welfare is at risk. In the sub-zero temperatures at night, death would not have been unlikely. I hope that as many expectant mothers as possible receive good help and find the appropriate safe solution. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.